watching this video tutorial, you'll learn how to jailbreak your PlayStation 4 system software 11, which is the newest one at this moment. Stay tuned! Hey, what's up guys? This is Dex, and you're watching DexTech Pro. Jailbreaking system software version 11 has finally arrived for those of you guys who have been waiting for it so long. And as I already promised you guys, I'm gonna be teaching you the latest method, step by step, very straightforward. This exploit is new because it's based on C++, running faster and more stable than the previous one, which was based on Python. Here are the requirements that you need to prep beforehand. We need a PS4 with a system start for 11 or below, a USB stick, a computer, a LAN cable, official PS4 firmware version 11, gold hand by Cisro, stage 2 payload Cisro, triple PWN GUI by Mother Warfare. I'll put the link in the description below that you can download files. Okay, first of all, you want to go to this website, scroll down, find firmware 11 and download it. Here it is guys. Make sure the file name is ps4updates.pup, all in capitals. Connect your USB stick to the computer, right click on it, format. Change the file system to XFAT. Remove any volume label if there is any. Make sure quick format is checked. Click on start to format, OK and close it. Open it up, create a new folder with the name ps4 in capitals. Open it, create another folder and name it Update in capitals. Open it up, drag and drop PS4 update PUP file into it to copy. Close and plug it back into the PS4 USB port. Get back to PS4, go to Notification, Downloads. Check the list and if you see the system software version download pending, hit the cross button on your controller, then cancel and delete it. If you don't see it in the list, then it's okay guys, and you can skip this part for sure. Now get back to the dashboard, settings, system software update. Then it starts to find the firmware on the USB stick. Here it is, system software is available, version 11. Hit on next, hit on update and wait for the process to finish. You have to be very careful about the version number when you download it and you always gotta double check it because if you download the wrong version, I mean basically version above 11, you won't be able to downgrade your console back to 11 or lower anymore, which means you can't jailbreak it. Then you must wait for the next jailbreak, which is not clear when it would be. Okay, here is an error message CE-30021-6 that I got here and I'm gonna just troubleshoot it as a bonus for you in this video. First of all, let's understand why did I get this error message. The reason why I received this error message is because my PS4 has system software version 9 which is jailbreakable and I already blocked the updates by update blocker payload. That's why my console can upgrade the system software to higher version from USB stick, in this case version 11. To fix this problem, I go to the WebKit exploit and follow the instructions until I get my console jailbroken. Then I inject the enable updates payload to remove update prevention. Now I get back to system software updates and try it again. There it is guys, problem solved and there is no error message anymore. Now PS4 is prepping for installation, so let's watch the process with fast forwarding the video to save time. Great, PS4 firmware is successfully upgraded from the version 9 to 11 and I'm ready to take the next action to precede the jailbreaking. Ok, back to the computer, let's go to npcap.com, click on download, click on download npcap for windows to install on the computer. Here is the exe file, double click and install it. For your information guys, npcap is a network packet capture and sending library for Microsoft Windows. This allows Windows software to capture raw network traffic using a simple and portable API. 
This is needed to be installed on my computer to jailbreak my PS4 because this new jailbreak is exploitable by local area, network or LAN. If you have it installed on your computer already, then it starts to remove the previous one and starts to install it again. And in my case, it's uninstalling and installing back. The next file we need to download is Goldhand plus stage 2 that you can download from Cistro's GitHub page. Another file you need to download is Triple E W N GUI from this website as well. Okay, next step is network configuration and connection. For this jailbreak, you need to have a LAN cable that one end goes to your computer's Ethernet port and other end goes to your PS4 Ethernet port. Get back to PS4, go to Settings, Network, Check Connect to the Internet, Set up Internet Connection, Use a LAN cable, Custom, Triple PoE, Use DEX as username and password for both. Next, Automatic, automatic again, don't use and done. You don't need to test internet connection yet, just close it. Connect your USB stick to your computer, right click on it, format, make sure that the file system is XFAT. Click on start to format it, OK and close it. Open it up, then drag and drop the gold hand into the root of your USB stick, then close and plug it back to your PS4's USB port. Right click on Triple PWN GUI and run it as administrator. Click on the browse button to import the payload stage 211.bin file. For the network adapter, select Ethernet from the drop down list. This Ethernet adapter is the one that is connected to my PS4 by LAN cable. Make sure that the number 11 is selected as the firmware version. Check retry on fail. Click on run exploit to jailbreak and wait for the results. It takes a few seconds that Paddy triggers. In the previous Python version, you had to go to Internet Connection settings of PS4 and run test Internet Connection to trigger. But with this C++ one, you just need to wait till it triggers. There it is. It starts to trigger automatically. There it is, stage 2 payload set, triple PWNED message, and this is it. Finally, Goldhand 2.4 B17 injected, and I just jailbroke my PlayStation 4 system software 11 successfully, guys. If I go to Goldhand menu on the dashboard, we got debug settings here, package installer to install games and apps. But one new option of this Goldhand, I believe, is in settings rest mode support which is a cool feature that you can put your ps4 in rest mode when you jailbreak it remember guys usb stick with gold hand file is needed only for the first time and next time you do the same but without plugging usb stick to ps4 because gold hand is already copied in ps4's hard disk drive i restart my ps4 and proceed jailbreaking without usb stick this time to show you guys how it works Go to Settings, Network, make sure Connect to the Internet is enabled. And get back to the computer. Open Triple P W and GUI. As you can see, it remembers the last configuration. Again, the USB stick is not connected and I only click on Run Exploit. Then it starts to trigger automatically.
stage two payload sent. Triple P W N E D message, and that's it. This time PS4 is jailbroken without USB stick. I mean, this new jailbreak is still young, and exploiting with computer might not be convenient for some of you guys. But stay tuned with my channel for next video tutorials because it's very possible that you could jailbreak it without a computer and only buy your PS4 itself, like the previous and traditional ways that we already had. And that's the end of this video tutorial. Please support my channel by sharing this video. Happy jailbreaking, guys! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. Channel.